Uh, as all of you know, a few minutes ago, the grand jury deliberating the death of Michael Brown issued its decision. It's now come that either way was going to be a subject of intense disagreement, not only in Ferguson, but across America. It's a very peaceful protest. Uh, people are extremely upset, though. The voices have only gotten louder, and they pick people up along the way. And as you can hear, they don't exactly love seeing that either. All right. Got it, Miguel. Sarah, can you hear me? Fake media is not allowed in Ferguson. Fake media got to go. They'll never say the truth. They got their own narrative and they get paid by Zionists. Well, you know what? You can plan, you can plan your own reaction however you want. You can't tell our community how we're gonna react. Now, like I've been saying, we're gonna be peaceful. We've been taking de-escalation courses, we've been getting training, we've been getting training, we've been getting training. There's never an excuse for violence, particularly when there are a lot of people in goodwill out there who are willing to work on these issues. The bad actors in the crowd. Uh, they are part of the, they are the main problem, but other people around them, they are also going to get tear gas. That is just the way it's going to be. Here is what a real tear gassing looks like. You take a breath in and it just like burns you inside your lungs. <coughs> and you start coughing hysterically. And the more you breathe in, the more you start coughing. Here's people just hanging out in the quote unquote Ferguson tear gas. CNN in Ferguson. Look out now. Now it's really official. They're really in danger here. Look at this stupid stuff. To the police officers. The police officers are taking her. Tear gas. Tear gas. Tear gas. Oh, and look how he, you know, slyly passes the mic. Here, take the mic, bro. Tear gas. Here, take the mic, bro. It's tear gas. Let me grab the microphone. <laughs> exactly. Here if we don't have masks. Well, why are you still right there? They're throwing it back. Stupid. There's, there's a lot of beanbags being shown. <laughs> still right there. Tear gas. <laughs> we'll go to Susan Hendricks right now so we can see. It appear uh, that there was theft, just uh, vandalism. Um, here's the fire that's been broken out. It's in a trash can. Yes, that's good news. That's smoke and mirrors, ladies and gentlemen. Smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Good news. Uh, like that's just a fire in a trash can. That's not even. Hey, a... Okay, so obviously uh, this night has turned uh, to state the obvious quite violent. CNN lied on Occupy Oakland. It was peaceful. Please, 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 then it started to what we see here now. Violence by the citizens. We understand what you're saying. No, that's yeah. the so, do not. So, yeah. You do not understand. You are so, promoting. You are promoting right, right. a certain narrative. Right. You are right. CNN fucking lies on Ferguson and Palestine. Then I will watch CNN at your press conference prayers, and they will lie. Once you recognize one of the memes that is being uh, put out there by these government accounts. Now, do you think it's all just coincidence, folks? All these accounts just happen to be putting out that same tweet. I'm trying to tell y'all, these protesters that they plant in these neighborhoods, they're going to plant them in Chesterfield, they're going to plant them in Clayton, they're going to plant them in Florida, they're going to plant them in Hazelwood. They're going to have people standing outside that's paid. And then once you know, in three days, it's going to be a big-ass group of people around here. And then next thing you know, it's going to be some troops at the end of that life. At the end of that life. And I was listening to a reporter on the ground, a local St. Louis reporter, talking about how he thought it was really odd at the tire store that the cops were standing down and just letting it happen. Obama signed martial law in, uh, in 2012. The shit finna go down. This is no peace from here, bro. No peace. There are ways of channeling your concerns constructively, and there are ways of channeling your concerns destructively. Michael Brown's parents understand what it means to be constructive. But I join 
Michael's parents in asking anyone who protests this decision to do so peacefully. This is Benjamin Crump's crew, by the way, the lawyer crew, okay? We got the same clowns that were representing the Trayvon Martin family for that whole PSYOP media circus, and they're here again uh, reading off the same script, essentially. Shit, this is Obama's Katrina, and he ain't doing shit. That won't be done by smashing car windows. Uh, that won't be done by using this as an excuse uh, to vandalize property. I'm gonna show y'all. Look, these are white guys that are fucking throwing it. Two white guys, so. Uh, Eric Holder's been there. We've had a whole team from the Justice Department there. And I think that they have done some very good work uh, to try to make sure that this becomes an opportunity uh, for us to seize the moment. Can you make a case for having this equipment? I'm assuming that lots of times police are outgunned and need heavier equipment. This is America right now. This is what's going on in our country. Look at those cops marching on the streets, dressed like soldiers off of a battlefield. It looks like extras out of Pink Floyd's The Wall. When did this become this? Well, this, this goes back to the early 90s and the drug war, late 80s, early 90s and the drug war. <laughs> drug dealers had for better equipment, more equipment, more dangerous equipment to the Lie, 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 lie. Police. Then you go into a post 9-11 world and the terror threats that we face. Lie, 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 lie. I think we can play a drinking game here, guys. How many lies this guy can tell? These are the lies. This is the CNN motherfuckers. Get out of here. Get out of here. CNN motherfuckers. They gotta go. Get the fuck out of here, you CNN bitches. This sign behind the, the so-called CNN reporter here that said ISIS here at Ferguson. ISIS here is signed behind Jake Tapper. Unbelievable. For those of you that don't, don't know, Jake Tapper, only one of the biggest sock puppets on this planet. Yep, one of the key players at CNN here. CNN gotta go. Liars do not belong in Ferguson. You the real truth. Get the hell out of here. We don't need to The fact that we even had to go into a whole pretend they're awaiting the decision and everyone acted like, ooh, I don't know what it's gonna be. Oh, now we know, oh my gosh, I'm gonna burn things down. This is all a show. This is all a bunch of singing and dancing. This is what community looks like. what community looks like, really? A bunch of people that are only angry, outraged, and mad about something when they're told to be. If the media and the government had not whipped this up complicitly into the riots that they predictably got, would this be what community looks like? They claim people in our neighborhoods that look just like us. Well, demonstrators taking out a guy who reportedly threw, trying to throw bricks at cops. They were moving in on the protesters. And then they gonna have a nigga shoot in the air, and then they gonna have they assault rifles shooting at everybody on the block. That's how they do it, and that's how the news gonna present it. He's not a protester. He's not a protester. He's not a protester. And that's what it's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. That's what people gonna believe. Uh, there is inevitably going to be some negative reaction, and it'll make for good TV. Doesn't this look a little green screenish? You guys tell me. He in the street right. who was eventually uh, gunned down after he raised his arm to surrender to police. So that has to be addressed. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm sorry, but this looks fake as shit. You marching today with us or you just got to sit in the cup? Because we haven't seen you marching at all, Jesse. We, march we, in the we ain't seen you. We just, when are you going to stop selling us out, Jesse? We don't want you here in St. Louis. When are you going to stop selling us out, Jesse? We don't want you here. You're not a leader. If you're not a leader, we don't want you here, brother. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. 
And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Who's it? This... This isn't the Matrix. No. It's another training program designed to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. You can never believe a single word from the corporate mainstream media. It's all an illusion. It's just pure fantasy land. All right, how much more do you guys need? But this looks fake as sh And the real question here is, while the right hand is busy doing this, what's the left hand doing?